Previously on Survivor Yukon. After the NATO alliance stayed strong in voting out the former Moynihan members one by one, Barrett and Matt felt that they were the next to go. At the Touchy Subjects Challenge, the true feelings of the group were exposed, revealing Bijan as the biggest liar, Maddie as the biggest threat to win, and Matt as the next to go. Once again, Matt won a crucial immunity challenge, leaving Barrett as the obvious target. Recognizing that Maddie was a huge threat and that they were at the bottom of their alliance, Bijan and Alex finally flipped, resulting in Maddie being voted out of the game. Only six are left. Who will be voted out tonight? Seeing Maddie getting voted out, I couldn't help it. Uh, Robbie was present as part of the jury. I looked at him, I smiled. I feel bad because like when people see that, they'll be like, oh, Matt's like a jerk, like smiling at that. But it's just kind of nice because like for once and since the merge started basically, like my side was kind of in power. I wasn't completely like the target. I feel like coming out of this vote, just, just barely surviving, uh, Maddie getting voted out. I feel I feel confident. I feel like now we got we got one, for, or I got one for, for my side for what I want to do. So that, that definitely helps. That calms me down a lot over the past few rounds with so many of my Moynihan friends getting voted out. I feel like we can get through the next few rounds pretty, pretty easily with what we want to do. All I can do is hope that, you know, be Bijan or Alex, they'll flip on us. So today I'm with, I'm with um, Alex and Carolina at one of the dining halls. I asked to get dinner with Bajan just to make sure our plan to get out Barrett was going um, thoroughly, and he told me what was actually happening. Uh, we're sitting there, probably the most awkward conversation I've ever had. It was like a lot of silence, you know, it was, it was pretty weird. Like they want to vote out Maddie tonight. And she goes, oh my God, really? I'm like, yeah, they do. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like, what should I do? She's like, do it. I'm like, okay, that's that's literally all I need to hear. If she's telling me to vote on Maddie, I'm doing it. I, I know Maddie's a big threat. I respected Bijan's decision to tell me um, just so I wasn't blindsided by him and I can continue maybe working with him in the future. Um, I, I honestly respected their decision to vote her out and as bad as it may sound, I feel like as long as she was in the game, I would have that target on my back as well. Bijan talked to me after the vote. Um, he felt with Alex that Maddie was also a really big challenge threat and it was a good time to get rid of her. Um, I'm like, okay, yeah, like I'm pretty sure Maddie's a vote. Like I know everybody's doing it, but I tried to make it seem like I was a swing vote. Like I'm like going back and forth. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Like I knew damn well I was putting Maddie out, but I had to make it seem like I'm like in limbo. She was Heidi and Carolina's number one ally, so if we went to the end with just that five, like she would have total control and like she's already better than all of us at challenges, so. I think she was our best chance to beat Matt farther on in the game, but it also does make sense to have voted her off. If Matt loses immunity, he's going, as soon as Matt loses immunity, he's going home. I have no doubt in my mind about that. After this vote, I think I can't really trust Bijan and Alex for long. I feel like we've talked about like an all guys alliance with me, Barrett, Bijan, and Alex uh, just taking out Heidi and Carolina maybe, but I don't think anyone actually believes that's what we're trying to do because a lot of us want to bring Carolina to the end. Um, Alex, I think, just seemed to really want to keep Heidi around for a while, even though he was kind of aligned with us. Um, and I didn't really even know who to trust. So I think in my mind, I was like, I'm just gonna keep trying to win as many immunity challenges as I can because so far, everyone I've uh, competed in for individual immunity, I've ended up winning. So I'm hoping to just keep that streak going. For this vote, being in the minority um, does concern me a little bit, especially because I think people would want to move forward with Carolina more than they would with me. But I don't know, I'm keeping my options open. I'm willing to go where the votes are now. Maddie was my biggest ally and she's out, so as far as I'm concerned, I'm a relatively free agent. I think moving forward, I can definitely trust Heidi. Um, I trust Bajan for the most part, just because he warned me about the Maddie vote. At this point, it's, it's who you think is gonna get you to the end. And I think former alliances don't really matter at this point. It's close enough to the end that you just have to do what you have to do. Let's get it!
six immunity challenge. Matt, if I could have immunity back. Thank you, Matt. All right. Immunity is back up for grabs. For tonight's challenge, we're gonna have some endurance. So it's gonna be a little willpower. It's not, it's gonna hurt in some ways. All right, well, let me explain it. So this challenge, what we're gonna do is you're gonna have a string tied to your wrist. Your wrist is gonna be up. The other end of the string is gonna be attached to a cup. The cup is gonna be on the ledge up there. We're gonna adjust the string according to your height so it matches it so there's a little a little slack, but not much. So you're gonna have your hand like this. If your hand pulls down a little, you're done. So it's really however long you feel like hurting and being up there. I did it for about two minutes. No, you did not. 30 seconds. Yeah. So let's, let's try to do this as quick as we can so we can not be out here all night. All right, everyone step sh slightly off the wall so your hand's a little more raised. Can't touch the wall anymore and this challenge has started. Ethan, you can make a little adjustments. How are we feeling right off the bat? Yeah. What's up? Yeah, you can do that. So Bijan, when are you dropping allegedly? I mean, honestly, like what's happening tonight? I'm gonna see what uh, everybody else does. I'm I'm probably gonna leave soon, but I mean, if it's hurting everybody else, it is right to me. Like they're probably gonna drop soon. So I'm not. I don't think it's gonna last that long. So it's not because Game of Thrones is on in ten minutes. If I if I drop, it's not. <laughs> it's not because Game of Thrones last because it's actually hurting me a lot. <laughs> but I think it's hurting everybody else more. I also don't want to be the first. I was very suffering and I can't. Oh, Bijan loses it. <laughs> Bijan, the first one out of this challenge. See you, Bijan. Yeah. We talked. You said I was the biggest liar. Hey, I'm sorry. Did you, though? I mean, you like me. I mean, yeah, but there's like, no I lot of agree that probably the biggest, but yeah. you didn't lie to me. I'm sorry, I had to do it. I know. Sorry, Shane. I forgive you. <laughs> it was the only option I had. I know. Except I had a lot of good players. I don't blame you. Uh, Heidi's cup moving a little. Yeah. All right, let's go down the line. We're about uh, eight minutes in, I think. So, Alex, how we doing? Uh, my hand is completely numb right now. All right, <laughs> Barrett, how about you? Uh, I still got my pinky. That's all I have left. That's good. You got one finger. Matt, how about you? I'm in pain. <laughs> Heidi, how about you? How long do you think you're going tonight? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna accidentally tug it off. That might happen. Yours has been wiggling. So yeah, I know. We'll see. Like Carolina, how's it been to um, start? Not um, just painful. I mean, that that doesn't sound good either. <laughs> Who thinks they need immunity this week? Raise your hand. Hi, uh, you're all raise your hands. Raise your hands. Uh, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, we are at 17 minutes. Big 17 minutes. Not that long. We got two girls left in this game, four guys. We have three three Kemba, three Tarasi, and we got we got one Moynihan with Barrett right here, one manatee. And we got three Verdefoy, two Jaskilka. So big mix of guys here in the end game. I miss Neil every day. <laughs> <laughs> what is it you miss about Neil? He's just he was a goofy kid, you know, he really brightened the mood all the time. Why'd you vote him out then, man? <laughs> uh because he had no idea what was going on. <laughs> We're at 22 minutes here. 22 minutes. 11 times. 
are we doing? Worse than before? Still the same? Awesome, better. Awesome, better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are 30 minutes into this challenge. 30 Woo! minutes. Woo! 27 like yeah, that's how time works. That's how I think. All right, we're about like 32 minutes. What's going on here? Oh, Carolina is letting it go. Carolina is the second person out of this challenge. All right, Carolina. Bye, Carolina. Bye. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. We. Yeah, we're kind of, we're trying to do that next season. What's for everybody? We just learned about that. Ooh. Oh! Heidi drops. Heidi out of this challenge after, how long? Like Heidi out of this challenge seven. after about hour seven minutes. We are down to three. How's your arm? It's, it's not bad. Not bad. If I can't feel it, it, it doesn't hurt, right? Yeah. Any updates, guys? Any feelings? Really. How long are we going today? Matt, <laughs> nah, how long are we going? Longer than that. <laughs> Hopefully. Garrett, how about you? You got any deadlines? Got anything to do at midnight? No, I'm, I'm all clear tonight. <laughs> how about you, Alex? Any sleep tonight, you think? Uh, I don't have a class till 3.30 tomorrow, so I'll be you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to get Heidi out next, probably. Okay. That's our goal. John after that? Probably, yeah. Because he's a, he's a trusted ally for no one, I feel like. He's really shit. But he's a good player and he's fun to have around. I'd hang out with him after this game for sure. Oh, yeah. I think everyone feels relieved that Robbie's out, kind of. He was a good ally, but definitely a bigger threat at this point. Well, getting rid of his idol was great, because if you still have that... Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> I got rid of baddies too, though, so... <laughs> Very big move. So do we roll with the guys' alliance, or do we get Bijan out before Carolina? I think we get Bijan out before Carolina. I think so. Because, like, well, Bijan's a more strategic player, but he's also up first, like, every challenge. That's a good point. And if Carolina... Yeah, and if she didn't have an assignment, who knows how long she would stay here. But Bijan was like, actually, yeah. I'm not going to lie, I think I need it more. But I respect the fact that I'm going to stay. I just feel like I think I'm going to pop out right here. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Barrett dropping out of this challenge. Oh my after, god, my arm. <laughs> after, how, long, how far are we into this about, you think? <coughs> what time is it? Alright, so we are so bad. <laughs> almost uh, worse than this. Yeah, so we're an hour, almost an hour and a half in. Hour 28, we are down to two. What an exercise. We are down to Matt and Alex. Are you going to go all the way? Yeah, I feel like I might need it. I don't think you do. I mean, I, I respect it, but us two aren't going to vote for you. Dijon, I doubt it. So that's four people against IG next round anyway. And that's only two others. Yeah. So I can guarantee you I want high to get really bad. But I, I respect it. I, uh, no, another reason why I, I think I need it more is because I have the boat against me regardless. So let's say three of us vote for Heidi and then only yeah. two of them vote for me that I already have the penalty vote so then it's a tie. Which kind of scares me. And Bijan's too selfish to play an idol on someone else. So it's not like he'll give it to Heidi or anything. Every possible scenario, they're safe. And I'm willing to work with but if I lose, I think I'm out. So. We are at an hour 45. Hour 45. Matt and Alex have been generally steady. Generally steady. Would like to drop, you get an Eminem cookie courtesy of uh, Mr. Taverna over here. Do you have it? Did you just eat it? <laughs> 
Yes, you fucking did. <laughs> they were both in there. <laughs> Maybe it's not in here. <laughs> you just mindlessly ate it. Are you fucking? Guess you have to go back. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think double immunity is the only way to make up. For I think it. I. I'm down. I think that. Wow. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> we'll share the. Where's the other cookie? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I ate both the cookies. <laughs> this is thrilling footage of Rupert the worm. He's my personal mascot. Don't go in the sewers. What are you doing? Rupert. Rupert. Stop it. <laughs> we found one the size He's of cute. King Kong. <laughs> what? Name is Rupert. Where? There. Rupert? <laughs> like the survivor? Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> He's freaking huge. Oh, uh, Pelican Pete right too. Yeah. I was very destroyed. Yeah, very I see your point. I think they actually moved. <laughs> So, because of his like flipping history, maybe <coughs> I just have to argue that you are safer than I am. I am fruit, and I want it worth it. I also yeah, don't have class tomorrow, yeah. so I have nothing to lose here. We're sitting here in the game you guys are talking about Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys tired standing over there? Yeah, it's been really hard and I sat for a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Heidi, hmm? are you going to vote? I mean, it depends on who wins. It's nothing hard. So does that mean me? Yeah. I don't like snakes. Matt, who do you want to vote for? Um, not Alex. I know that. Alex, who do you want to vote for this week? I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. The only other challenge for us now is the fire. <laughs> Two hours, twenty minutes. Any new talk of deals? Anyone feeling pain here? What are we thinking? Did that again? Yeah, I think I'm dropping out because I can feel my arm starting to give out. All right, let's see it. All right, Alex. After how long has it been? How long has it been, guys? Uh, final tally: three hours and five minutes. All right, three hours and five minutes. Well, going three hours and five minutes, uh, I gotta say, I think probably my proudest accomplishment in life so far. I mean, I honestly thought I was gonna give up it so many times, but I just didn't think it was an option. I thought I had to win. He, once again, guaranteed spot in the final five. Everyone else will be one of Alex, Heidi, Dijon, Carolina, Barrett, one of you guys are going home this week. I'll see you guys next time. We'll announce that later. Good work tonight, guys. Well, good challenge. I was really proud of myself for making it over an hour. And then when Matt won by going over three, I'm like, frankly, embarrassed. <laughs> like... And yeah, I feel like it's, my shoulder's gonna be sore for a while now. Um, but it was worth walking home with that necklace, I gotta say. How are we feeling post challenge, guys? Uh, my art, my light art feels horrible. I'm not even that happy that I won. Like, there's too much pain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, congrats, Matt. You tied a Survivor Yukon record yeah. for individual immunities with three. Working on it. I think it's the only way I'm staying in right now. All right. Shit. <laughs> I'm trying. Well, I like to preface by saying Game of Thrones is coming on. Um. I had the idol, so there was really no need for me to win. I was gonna play my idol, this was my last chance to play it. When I heard that Carolina lasted 30 minutes and that was the next person to get out, I was like, wow, I look bad. Um, I kind of dropped out purposely, just because I, I know how badly Matt needed to win this challenge in order to stay in, and how long he would go for. It sucks that Matt 
won. And I told him the entire challenge, like, <laughs> no offense, but if you don't win, you're going out next. Not even to encourage him. Just... I kept trying to convince Alex, saying, oh, you're safe for the next vote. I need this. Like, we kind of work together, like, help me out here. And this is what I kind of mean when I say Alex is a little quiet, a little awkward, because like he'd nod and like kind of avoid eye contact with me. So he'd like understand what I was saying and kind of agree, but then he wouldn't do anything or give up. Towards the end, I just had to tell him like, listen, I'm not leaving. So we could be here all night. Like I need to win this. I'm going to keep going. And then like, I think five or 10 minutes later, he said he was giving up. So I think I just, with someone like Alex, I just had to be more assertive and be like, I'm not going to lose, so it's time for you to like, give up and it works. The main reason why I like stayed for three hours in that challenge was because, yeah, I wanted to beat Matt because I know like Heidi and Carolina, I think, said that like if he makes it to the end, like they'll vote for him no matter what just because he's winning challenges. And like I know he's gonna get like Robbie and Hope's vote, so like that's like a guaranteed win right there. Yeah, that, that endurance challenge was tough. It was really mostly for, for me and Matt. What it felt like was just a game of as long as either me, Matt, or Alex can stay up uh, to the final three, then that's all that matters. Because we still got that that little bit of an alliance left over. All we need is to get rid of the two girls from Unity and then we, we should be good. I'm pretty positive that Carolina will vote with me, no matter what, just because we were both in the minority before. I'm going for Barrett again, with the same mentality that I know Barrett doesn't want to work with me. I don't anticipate getting any help from him in the future, so that's my like selfish reason. So every individual challenge Matt has competed in, he has won. That is a fucking huge red flag. Why is he 3-0? To me, after he wins that one, I'm, I was texting Alex, I'm like, he, he needs to go. If this vote goes my way, we get rid of Barrett, and Matt wins again, I'll probably vote Bijan, just because I think he's a massive jury threat. Um, if Matt loses, get rid of Matt as soon as possible. I think people should be worried about Bijan, because, and like, I think people are, because like, he was labeled like the biggest liar, but like, He's the only person in the game who's voted for everyone who's actually went home. And also, I don't think he's had a vote against him. His social gameplay has been phenomenal. They're lucky that I can't win a challenge, but I mean, if you take me to the end as a death sentence, I've played by far the best game that anybody left, so there's no reason to vote for anybody but me. Before this next upcoming tribal, uh, with Matt having immunity, really all we gotta do is target uh, either Heidi or uh, Carolina at this point. Yeah, personally, I was much, much more on, on Heidi, and I think I was able to convince uh, the people who I'm voting with also the same thing. Okay, so before Tribal and even during the immunity challenge, uh, Heidi, Heidi left after she lost, and me, Bear, and Alex were like, so who are we voting out next? And we all kind of just said Heidi. And I wanted to get Heidi out, and Heidi has made it no secret in the past that she wants me out. So I really just, my hope for this vote is to just get her out, get her out of my hair, like off my back. She's wanted me and been gunning for me since Robbie got out, and it'd just be such a relief. All right, so right now, like, I'm torn between voting for Heidi or Barrett, and like, I want to vote out Barrett because I feel like Barrett and Matt. Like, they're more likely to go with Bichon because, like, I've barely talked to Matt and Barrett. And, like, I know Heidi said that, like, she wants to, like, go to the final three with me and Carolina. And Bichon wants to go to the final three with me and Carolina. So, like, I feel like it'd be better for me to get out Barrett because I don't think he'd have my back in the future, but Heidi would. I want to get Barrett out this boat. Um, but I've been hearing my name thrown around a lot, and I'm really starting to think it's going to be me. The first person I met with after the endurance challenge was Alex. And right off the bat, Alex told me he already talked to Bijan, and Bijan wanted to go for Heidi. So I basically have to vote like the same way as Bijan, and like I've tried convincing Bijan to vote Barrett, but he's really convinced that like if we vote out Barrett and Matt wins in Unity again, then he's definitely going to be voted out. 
So he's basically like making me vote out Heidi because like I don't want to force a tie. And I didn't really want this to happen just because she was who I was working most closely with. Um, so I was like, and then Alex claimed that he didn't want Heidi to go out that much either. So I would meet, I met with Bajan later on and tried to um, see if I could change his mind turning from Heidi to Barrett. But later on in the week, I meet up with Carolina first. And the first, and me and Carolina, me and Carolina talked about Alex and Heidi because Wednesdays we watch Survivor, I guess, like the old Mado Alliance or whatever, but me and Carolina and Maddie can come. So it was just Heidi and Alex and like production or whatever. And I heard from Carolina that Alex and Heidi were hanging out like four hours after Survivor ended or whatever. Like they're hanging out all night. Um, this is Survivor Yukon. This is not The Bachelor. I am not here to help you people find love. I want them to both be eliminated. I don't, it's interfering with the game because it's getting in his head and he's doing stupid shit. When I spoke to Alex, um, he basically told me like, Look, I'm sorry, <laughs> you're kind of screwed. For someone with like an introverted personality like me, like it's not really easy for me to like open up to people. When I actually like do, it's something that like I value and then I become like super loyal to that person. So yeah, I just like don't want to vote out Heidi right now because I feel like she's like a real friend that I have in this game. I did know that Alex and her were meeting up though. While me and Matt were meeting up, Alex and her were gonna meet up. So Alex, I guess, was just gonna like, try to like deter her from the fact that she's getting voted out. Just because you don't want people to like no. I met up with Bijan, talked about Heidi. I said this is how we got to do it. Uh, he seemed to be pretty content with it. Um, me and Matt were talking and basically just agreed. Matt's like, you're not like bullshitting me, right? Like we're actually gonna go for Heidi. I'm like, yes, Matt. 100% sure we're going for Heidi. That's the vote. So yeah, I basically told her like, yeah, and like I would force a tie to like try and get Bijan on the foot, but I can't do that because he has an idol. So there's no way that he's going to like flip because he's safe. And then if we go to rocks, like it's me and Carolina. Bijan has an idol, which took me by surprise because I thought they were all gone. Well, like I'm screwed. Like there's nothing I can do. Um, Bijan and Alex aren't gonna flip. And like, I know I'm telling her all that, it could screw me over because like, in the game, no good deeds go unpunished, but I don't really expect her to backstab me that easily. So while I'm with Matt, I get a text from Alex saying, talk to Heidi, I think she knows she's the vote. That's code for Alex saying, I just told Heidi we're voting her out. Why do you think the- Why do you- Cause he fucking likes her. I don't know why he does this. It's not even, I don't know. He, he might not like, like her, but like, he's become really good friends with her. Like, he, he really enjoys spending time with her. I mean, Heidi's a great person. Like, I, I mean, I would feel the same way. We might just be creating this random showman that doesn't exist, but like, it, at the end of the day, like, he does really like her. Like, he thinks, like, they're good friends. And he told her because of that. And that's fine, because I would have done the same thing for Carolina. But I wouldn't like Carolina to put it out. But. I talked to Dijon in a, like, moment of desperation. And I was like, look, I told Carolina and Alex to put their votes on me because I knew I was in the minority and I didn't want to screw their games going forward. If you play your idol on me, I'll vote out whoever you want. And then she comes up to me right before the vote and she goes, hey, like, Alex told me, like, you know, I'm the, I'm the target this week. Like, I know you guys are gonna vote me out, but like, I know you have like an idol. Is there like anything you can do? I'm like, how do you, how do you know I have an idol? Like. Alex told me and then I was like okay interesting I'm gonna like give her a chance to I'm like did Alex ever mention getting me out she goes yeah he wants to go out next week so Welcome back everyone to your final six uh, tribal council. Um, congrats to Matt for winning immunity for the second week in a row. So Matt, you won immunity again. 
Matt, do you think you needed to win again to stay in this game? Do you think immunity is necessary for you at th this point in the game, this late in the game? I mean, you you were on the wrong side of the numbers early in the merge. You come across with three immunity wins now. You did survive one week, so like, but at this point, is that necessary, or do you think you have options, moves to make? What's going on? Uh, I think I always have options, but no matter what, uh, I just tell myself that I have to win before a challenge, and it's it's been working pretty well so far. Um, I just, at this point in the game, I think there's only six of us left. We're all threats. We all know what we're doing. Can't really trust anyone at this point, so I feel safest when I have a necklace around my neck. That's all. Alright, Heidi, you made it clear to Matt the challenge oh, that yeah. if Matt wasn't winning immunity, you were targeting Matt. Yeah. So do you think that's what would have happened if Matt went, didn't win immunity? you think people would have voted out Matt? I mean, yeah, and like, honestly, like, loads of respect to Matt, like, if I end up on the jury and Matt makes it all the way to the end, like, Matt's been playing an amazing game, like, like, serious kudos, but, um, yeah, I mean, big, biggest physical threat right now, he's tied for most individual immunity wins in UConn Survivor's history, so. So you think Matt doesn't have, Matt thinks he has options, do you think he has no options if he, I mean, if he loses immunity? He's not no options at any point, but, I mean, I don't know. All right, so with Matt, Heidi, to continue off of that, with Matt winning immunity this week, your target, oh, yeah. <laughs> where, where does it go? Who, who comes next here? Um, I mean, I don't know. It's been kind of quiet this past week, or since the last challenge. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I don't entirely feel safe, but um, I know where I'm going, and that's, that's that. I hope the people that I have spoken to. All right, Barrett, four Moynihan went out in a row in this game. We had Kiwan going in the pre-merge, then Kira, then Hope, then Robbie, and then it seems like you're just going to be next. You're just going to finish you guys off, finish the Red Tribe off. And then last week, Maddie got taken out. So where does that place you in this game? Do you think you're back in things? Do you think you've worked your way into this tribe, into this game? Or do you think that was just a delay of the inevitable, that you're going to be taken out? Uh, yeah, I feel I feel pretty good about where I am right now. I feel like definitely that point ahead put a target on my back originally, but through just everything that's been happening these past few rounds, I feel like so much has changed up that I feel like I'm in a good position right now. What has changed, Barrett? Uh, people have been talking. So, okay. Were they not talking before? Different people were talking. Okay. All right. Bijan. Last week, there was a big flip on this Alliance of Five that's kind of been steamrolling the Rep Tribe members early on in this merge. So, what caused this, and what's been like the kind of the aftermath of this um, last vote? I don't know, at, at this point, uh, I mean, I obviously was like part of the flip, so like I knew about it, but like, I don't, I don't know if anybody here really feels safe, especially, I don't know, I feel like the last hour has been kind of crazy. So, I don't know, I feel like none of us feel like very secure, I guess. What's been going on, Bijan? Things are changing? I mean, I feel like I feel like I need more time to vote. Like, I don't know who I'm, I don't, I need to like talk to people. Well, we, we only got Also, few... like, obviously, like, at this point, everybody knows, like, I have a hidden immunity idol that I've been like holding on since like a while. <laughs> and like, I like, obviously, can place on myself and I feel pretty safe, but I don't know. Um, there's been a lot of talking. All right, um, Carolina. What's more important at this point in the game? Is it building a resume so you or someone else has the the credentials to win this game, or is it getting your way to the end? Because we still have uh, four more tribals here. Six, five, yeah, four more tribals till um, we get our final two. So, what's like on your mind about? how to play this game this deep in the game? Um, I think it's a big mix as well because even if you do make it to the end, um, if, you, if you don't have the credentials, you very well favor you and that don't What's more fo focused for you, the credentials or getting to the end? Um, I guess I mean, it's, it's really well, but I guess it's Okay.
guys. Let, let, let's. So what's going on? What's going on over there? Are they just Alex and Dijon just walking? Anyone want to get in that? All right, Heidi and Matt are talking. Bear and Carolina, who are you talking? to? <laughs> Get, get up there, get up there. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> Mention it every time. <laughs> Alex, what happened there? What? What? Why did everyone just? What? What's? What's? What's going on? What's changing? What's? What's sort of changing? Yeah. So there's been a lot of talk in like the last hour, and I think a lot of people are really confused right now. Why? Why if you? You guys have three days to put this together. Or, or, yeah. This is your. It's been four days since the last challenge. So what do you? What are you guys putting together, like in this time that hasn't happened before? I, I don't know, honestly. I, it looks like people are still putting things together. Yeah, Bijan, let's talk about this idol. Yeah. Because you kind of just brought this up at this tribal. I don't think everyone has been like. Well, everyone knew. Everyone knew. Yeah. I need you. You know about this? Did anyone else not know about Bijan's idol? Barrett. Barrett didn't know. Carolina, you're raising your hand? It doesn't, Bijan, it doesn't seem like everyone knew. We, we had know. Barrett, Carolina, and Heidi didn't know. So I guess Matt and Alex knew. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think people found out recently at least. Like recently enough before tribal, like I... How uh, recent did you find out? Like... That's pretty recent. <laughs> Very recent. <laughs> How about you, Caroline? When did you find out Bijan apparently has an idol? Okay, I thought you might be saying the but it was like a few hours ago. Oh, a few hours ago. Barrett, when did you find out? Uh, about five minutes ago. Alright, well, Bijan apparently has an idol now if he's, if he's swinging it around, so we'll, we'll have to see what he does with that. Are you, are you asking? I'm just I'm just stating the facts. You you got an idol apparently, yeah. and people are just learning about this. You're you're saying that like everyone knew about this, Bijan. This seems like new I news. Say, I would say, I mean, you said you found out like 15 minutes before. Like Matt knew, like Alex knew. So like, I guess Barrett might you didn't know, right? Nope. Yeah, you were probably the only one didn't know. Like I feel like everybody kind of knew, and uh, I don't know. It's a little troubling because I. You know, I didn't expect people to tell other people I have an idol. Like, it doesn't really make a difference. Like, tonight, like, I'm going to play it on myself regardless. But it's a little troubling because it's like, I don't know. Because if you're telling people that, like, what else are you telling them? I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit paranoid. But it's like my personality. So, Matt, do you know what caused these commotions during this tribal? Was it Bijan's idol that some people learned about? Was it other things? That what, what is, what's, what's changing? Because you guys had a lot of time for this vote. So why why is it changing in the last hour? I think Bijan's idol just added to the flames, but really I just think props to everyone here were strategic and people had last minute ideas that are changing everything and clearly I don't think the ideas are made up yet, but it's in process right now. We'll, I don't know when we're voting, but... Alright, I, th I think I'm ready to vote. Are wait, you guys, are you guys wait, ready? Wait, one second? Give me like one second. 
Alright, Bijan. Can I talk to you? Sure. <laughs> Bijan, you can't walk over there. You, we're, in, we're in tribal. You <laughs> work, stay over there. Just like go back. Yeah, talk to me here. I do that. Just like go back. Here, talk to me here. I just. I'm You really think so? I don't think we'd let him get there. We're about to. Alex, there's name. You don't like me? No. Alex. How did you know him? I want to go around, but I feel like the map moves me. I feel like the map moves me. I'm not going to go. 45 minutes on the show is a bit much. Who, who feels safe now? Bijan feeling safe. Matt, you feeling safe? Yeah, sure. All right. Um, I think after that, I think it's time for us to vote. Uh, Matt, you do have individual immunity. If you want to give it to someone, feel free. All right. Can't vote for Matt tonight. Anyone else is fair game. Heidi, you're up. I was positive I was going home, so I might as well fuck some shit up. Alright, if anyone has the media and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Alright, perfect job. Bijan. I don't, I don't know what you did to this Bijan. <laughs> I had it for like three months in my backpack. In the event that hidden immunity idol is played, all votes against that person do not count. This uh, is a butcher immunity idol, but all votes against Bijan will not count. I'll leave the votes. First vote! Alex, one vote Alex. Second vote! Alex, one vote Heidi. <coughs> Third vote! Alex. Two votes Alex, one vote Heidi. Fourth vote! <laughs> Alex. Three votes Alex, one vote Heidi, two votes left. The 11th, the eleventh person voted out, and the fourth member of the jury, Alex. I'm sorry to say that's not for tonight. Please bring me your bandana. All right, sorry, Alex, but the tribe has spoken. Guys.
All right. A lot went down tonight, but in the end, it was a unanimous vote. We'll have to see if you guys made the right decision. A lot of games coming up. See who's going to be the final two soon enough. See you guys next time. So yeah, I think I, uh, I think I definitely got a little too soft. I was, uh, I was thinking I was like better friends with Heidi, and I'm like, okay, well Heidi and Bijan are my number one allies. So I think I just tried too hard to save Heidi, I guess. And uh, yeah, she's definitely smart enough to flip the road on me. So props to her. Yeah, I just want to say that like I'm really kind of proud of myself that I did this because I'm really more of like an introvert. I don't put myself out there that much, and I think I was super anxious to like do this, and I'm like super happy that I did. I made it way farther than I thought I would, and I met a lot of good people, so I don't have that much to be mad about. Next time on. The season finale of Survivor Yukon Ready to Rumble. With only five members left after a crazy tribal council, it truly is anyone's game. Survivor's ready! Go!